Well, after the break, there is nothing like a custom-tailored suit. James Hobson made one in his garage that has the military and medical community checking out the fit. diabetes, your blood glucose meter readings may be further from lab results than you think. That's because industry standards have an acceptable error range of plus or minus 20%. But with Bayer's Contour Next, you get an even more accurate reading that's closer to lab results, helping you make the right decisions when they matter most. And with Bayer's Second Chance Sampling, you can apply more blood to the same strip to help prevent wasted strips. Get your free Bayer Contour Next meter today at your local pharmacy. Well, there is a long list of products we use every day that had their genesis in the fantasies of science fiction writers. The latest one, a Kitchener, Ontario man has built, is now a working prototype and may someday help the immobile move. Here's CTV's Scott Laurie. For months, he's been working away designing an extension of the human body. I bought some steel and I created this arm, the right arm actually. And it's actually very basic. It's uh, perforated steel tubing, similar to the stuff that you see on stop signs. James Hobson, engineer and dabbling inventor, building his own exoskeleton. So one acts like the bicep, and the other one kind of acts like the tricep. His inspiration, the 2013 film Elysium, starring Matt Damon. His character wired with superhuman strength from materials melded into his body. And by the classic, Aliens. All right, attempting to curl 171 and a half pounds with my homemade exoskeleton. After Hobson posted this demonstration on YouTube, <laughs> more than one million hits. I figured, why do you have to be a commercial company? Why can't you just do it in your garage? They are far beyond the garage. Exoskeletons are already being tested to help people like Mitch Brogan to walk again. I feel so good right now. Even the U.S. military is fast-tracking a so-called Iron Man suit for the battlefield. Hollywood practically gave them a prototype. <laughs> now, Hobson is nowhere close to that kind of technology. 170 pounds. He is still tinkering. If you could design a portable system that can be either worn as a backpack, maybe have some leg supports, you could be able to go in and, say, pull wreckage off of a person. Scott Lurie, CTV News, Toronto. 